It's Madden NFL 22, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Dolphins and the Raiders coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Las Vegas Raiders. And off we go from Las Vegas. This taken in at the goal line. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon marino will look to throw on first and this will be incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Second and 10. Now Marino to throw it. This one complete to Jalen Warner. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big-time play right there. They'll run on first down. Brown. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. He's brought down at the 37 yard line. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the tone early. Running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 37 yard line. Now it's Moreno. Throw to cross his body and it's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. And the Raiders are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. And they will be led out by their 6'3 quarterback. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 at their 38. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. That's Christensen. And he'll be taken down and out before he gets in the enemy territory. Right after 
after the turnover they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. They'll look to throw here on first down. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So if they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second game. And just a yard to go here on second down. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Hands it off out of the gun. Uh-uh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. I apologize in advance, Parker, but the B feeders on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Field goal would have been a decent length at 55 yards. They keep the kicking unit on the sideline. They're going for it. They'll look to throw. Now into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. Well, a shaky start for both quarterbacks now. We had the interception on the opening drive, and now they throw it right back to him. So does that mean we're really kind of starting from the beginning, Brandon, right? Both of them have done it, so we kind of start from scratch. Looks to me like both of these defenses have done their homework, and they're executing quite well. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He has a big thank you to say to his defense. He threw the interception, then boom, the defense gets it back. But the ebb and flow of a game is something else, isn't it? But you made an excellent point. A big thanks is owed to that defense. They went out there on what we call a sudden change after a turnover and didn't give up anything. In fact, took the ball away and set them up again. Really nicely done. So a clean slate and a mulligan. After the interception, here's Marino. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Clayton. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Three yards the gain there, second down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. Marino's throw caught by his receiver, Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. It's Brown, and yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the shotgun, Marino. Open man is Hill, he's got it. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there though, holding him for a short game. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. 
They give it to Brown. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. We're scoreless after one. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down and less than a yard. He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. And Marino's throw there incomplete. Good coverage on the outside, and I think that's where he wanted to check that down to. But once he saw the danger over there, he just threw that one over everyone's head. Smart play. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. Shotgun handoff to Brown here. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no game that time, they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. On now the Miami field goal unit. And this one is right through. And the Dolphins will jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Let's go, Let's go. Now whistles, and we've got a man down. A man down here following the kickoff. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. 
And they'll run on the inside handoff. He takes this for three to the 29. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And defensively going with a dime set. Six DBs on third and four. Back to throw. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got a bolt down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. run right there able to get to the outside and so many times defenses say okay we've got you hemmed in but if you're running the football at least you know where everyone is coming from you don't have to worry about the backside at all that allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field second quarter two minutes remain three nothing our score Good work, boys. Let's go. Coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to get the, to get the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Another 13 yards there twice in a row, and they're on the move. Another first down as well. He'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Raiders have taken the lead. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. Going after right down the middle. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. to the 20-yard line and no further. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way, as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game, 
because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore. Or they get tired or they get out of position or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it'll be second down. The Dolphins moving with a sense of urgency here. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Three yards remain for second down. God, it's Marino. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Marino here from the gun. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. The Dolphins gonna take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Marino will throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Seven yards to pick up there. That's a staple in this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Working with a second and three. Now Marino. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. But not to start out a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. And some secondary help here for the defense of the nickel on third and long. Handing it off to Brown. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And no one there to stop it. Hits it the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. 
So we have reached halftime here in Vegas with the Raiders on top. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, time for a check of the next-gen stats from that first half for Miami. And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's going to need to improve if they want to erase this deficit. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. start the third quarter here on the ground and not a whole lot to speak of there so bring him down shy of the 20. Jerome Baker there on the tackle in the first half he was held in check on the ground but despite that lack of production they still have the lead yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that if they could actually get production from their lead horse that would help open up this offense and widen this margin too they'll keep it on the ground Wheatley gets this to the 24 for a gain of four Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They'll look to throw here. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 28. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. They were in the dime. They had six defensive backs there. So go ahead and throw it. He threw it, and it hurt it. It's almost thrown into a blanket of coverage, isn't it? You talk about the best defenders you have are the defensive backs. Six of them on the field. You're almost asking for trouble, and that's exactly what they ran into. Ended up throwing a pick six. Yeah, six defenders and six points. Point after try, forthcoming. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10 7. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. And now the kick is away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, called it the 21. Let's go. The Vegas. 
this offense ready for their next possession. After the pick six, they go right back to the air. Steps away to his left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. They'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble. And it's second down. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. On second down now. Wheatley, and yeah, not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. I have to think a major focus of the halftime mix had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started, and that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty, and before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. So a change of possession here on the punt. Dolphin football. Miami set to take over. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They defer to Brown to start the drive. Brown with a stick skills. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. Well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Marino sets up. And that'll be incomplete. Well, listen, when you've got the lead, there's absolutely no sense trying to fit a ball in where you should. You can see the coaching in his head taking place on that play because he saw he had a receiver in the area. He just put it well over his head out of harm's way. Good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. Marino now off the bootleg. He finds his man complete. It's Franklin. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game. But in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice game. just before the midfield stripe at the 49. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. There we go again with Marino. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Picked off at the 40, and they have possession, and they have it at the 38. Charles on the middle of the field and a few too many. 
many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. If there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 38. They run the counter. Wheatley, and he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Second and nine now. Got a man. It's Brown. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. They'll try the left side. Wheatley, and he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. No, no doubt, but home run here on the backfield. Guy can take it the distance. But a short yardage trying to pick up first downs. That big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? throw now on first down. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. The struggle is finding open receivers continue. I don't know the last time I saw this inconsistent during the football. It would be hard to find a date when he was this inconsistent. You know, in his locker, he keeps the word poise printed on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. He needs to find that poise right now. He certainly does. In fact, I would suggest he laminate it. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run the counter. Wheatley. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll keep it on the ground. Wheatley. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Oh, 
They'll run on first down. Wheatley, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, second and 12. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. He'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down again. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the floor of the game. But to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. away taken at the goal line and he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19 now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again and he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball yeah and you know the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for them, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's a give to Brown. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back in his own 19-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. That second down play nets a minus four. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Marino. They're going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A great effort there. 85 yards. And the Dolphins strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth.
Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years with the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And you'd think on third down, they'd just be looking for something right beyond the sticks. And I think they caught the defense flat-footed as a result because they decided they were going to take a shot right there, and it ended up being a big play. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 17-10 score. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays, and it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. So the Raiders now trailing 17-10. At time, a huge factor. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. throwing here on first down firing quickly here and that's complete and he's taken down but not before he gets this across the 25 yard line so it's Raider football as we get you reset they come up on a first and ten desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive now a man open down the middle of the field. A gain of six there on first. You drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. The Raiders try to move quickly, try to get everybody back to the line. Back to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need, down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield, and when they see openings, take their shots. First down now, but the clock continues to move. He'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. So nothing doing there. And that'll make it second and ten. Not good. They didn't move the football an inch. And precious time ticking off the clock. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. He's going to let it fly. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on down. That's how we do it. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Out 
comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. First down, it's Brown. And down inside the 15, he goes. The Raiders got to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. See if they want to use them. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. The victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. And the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down. Marino's going to take a knee, and that should just about do it. victory here for the Miami Dolphins and we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins who loses this game no exception air free football no turnovers at all and they win it so this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate and you know what I'm talking about head coach always stands up in front of the team and says guys if we do this this and this we'll win and usually they say if we win the turnover battle we'll win well here's the proof right there win the turnover battle Go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted.